Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, yeah. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I hate this. Uh hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh Nope! It's not gonna happen! Oh god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good! I swear! I swear! I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! Oh my god! Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. This, I hate 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 this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's not gonna happen! Oh god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good. I swear. I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's not gonna happen! Oh god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good. I swear. I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, yeah. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Yes. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's not gonna happen! Oh god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good. I swear. I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, yeah. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Yes. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you into bacon. Gonna turn you into bacon, sir. Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. I hate this, 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 I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. Uh, hello, Mystic Insanity. I am just cursing my entire existence. Oh, it's not gonna happen! Oh god! Oh my god, it's going to happen! I'm good. I swear. I'm fine. Oh my god. Oh shit, okay, here we go. Like, yeah. I ain't never been with a baddie, with a baddie. She calm, so I added to the tally. Yes. Madison button calling her Maddie. Yes. Like, Mads try to send me the addict. Scoop, 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 scoop. Bacon. I'm gonna turn you
<laughs> you know what helps when I actually unmute my microphone? Um, then, then things will start to work and things will start to go in the direction that they are supposed to. We're also going to load this game before the music continues. Welcome. Oh yeah, no. I'll get there. I just wanted to get something baseline that had like my social platforms. Um, and I think once I get the new designs figured out, cause I'm relaunching where I'm putting the store too for Stars and Swords. It's gonna still have the same uh, URL cause I'm having, it re I'm having it redirect to it, but it's a whole thing. <laughs> I decided I'm doing a lot all over again. I feel like I was sleepy for a little while. Um, but no, because the nice part is this is basically the new intro video, which thank you guys. I that was what I was working on while watching your stream yesterday, Alex. Um, the it's basically a slideshow, which is kind of so I can add in slides to it and do different fun things. So eventually, if I want to, if I have like some videos that I do in merch and stuff like that, or even just some basic stuff, I'm gonna be able to do add in an entire slide dedicated to that. But I think I'm gonna wait till the new designs are done. But yeah, that's uh, that's my new video that I've been working on that I think I can keep elaborate elaborating on. But no, I'm uh, pretty happy. I'm pretty content. But hello, friends. I also shortened my time to my my timer to five minutes because I decided I don't know ten minutes felt too long, <laughs> even if I have that fun video. Um, but yeah, so I'll be able to tweak that. It's easy enough. And it's easy enough to get into OBS at the end of the day because it's just a media source. <laughs> but welcome to the weird things that I learn about by watching TikToks because now my For You page is not just like queer, nerd, Encanto, D&D, &D, cats, and other things. It is, it is also streaming. <laughs> and OBS and mix it up tips. So I'm like, okay, cool. I like this pathway. Um, but yeah. So, next step is to clip more of my own crap and then get that going on TikTok. But that's beside the point. I'm getting there. Ooh, that's a good thought there, Alex. Thank you. I will do that. Because my other plan is to, like, it's an MP4 file. I can import it into Premiere and I can splice, splice it out easy enough to adjust the volume levels individually. Um, it's mostly that I want to bring up that bacon clip. But I was struggling to do it in Canva because they don't have really a, they don't do much with volume necessarily or audio controls and it's pr primarily animation and videos that you can do stuff. Um, like some minor things like cropping, but that's all you can, and really actually it's about it. Um, but that's, I'll look at that. Um, otherwise I'm just going to put it into Premiere, do that, and then export it out again. Either way, really, really simple stuff. Um, but look at me, I'm learning. I don't learn much else, but I did. Actually, that's a lie. I'm trying to, I'm back into operation, learn a lot of things. I don't know what's up with me. This is just like, I'm like, oh, okay. I can learn to do things again. Let's just, let's do this. It's hyper focus. I'm trying not to burn myself out all right, but we're going to do just fine. I think. Anyways, how are you guys doing? How are things? How are we doing? How are we feeling? Um... Don't tell Eric or possibly even H-Dog. I think I'm just going to avoid going out on dates with Brian. Sorry, Brian. Uh, but I think we'll do date with Joseph, date with Hugo, and then possibly one of our top three, four we got here. Maybe we'll go to Damien. We'll see what date number three looks like. Ended on a good note today. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll do, yeah, maybe we'll do bottom row buddies today. We'll see. See where this day takes us. I don't know what random events will get spawned, so. Let's go to Joseph. Let's go see why his wife uh, is randomly at a bar every night. I'm hoping we get the answer. I really just want to know that. Truth be told. I just want an answer as to what. There's something about Mary. I just want to know about your wife. That's all. I don't even want to date him. I just want to know about his wife. That's not weird, right? It's like, dude, I'm not into you. I'm, I'm just very concerned about your wife. It's really what it is. It's really what it comes down to. Anyways, how's everybody doing, by the way? How are we feeling? It's Thursday, which is delightful. Because tomorrow's Friday already. It's actually really exciting. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But yeah, let me know in chat how you be doing, how you feel. 
Uh, what you be doing? It should be Friday. Yeah, I feel you, Katsy. Hi, sweetie. I'm just glad it is Friday tomorrow because, like, I don't know about you, hon, but, like, first week back has been, like, sledgehammer to the head. I don't understand why it's been, I do understand why it's been this busy, but I think that's just, like, unique to me and my job. But, like, how's it been for you, honey? Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Oof. Biggest of oofs. Oof. I'm so sorry. Hopefully you're not still working right now, ma'am. Miss. Giving you eyes. Do we have D&D sometimes? Sorry, my brain's going to 12 other things. And I'm like, wait. It's a follow-up I'm going to look at later. But date with vamp... Date with vamp daddy will help. We're starting with, uh... With Christian Daddy, we're, we're Sailor Christian Daddy, Christian Sailor. I don't even know. Starting with uh, Brojo, because I want to know what's going on with his wife. Is really what it is. But we will get to Vamp Daddy. This week has been shockingly busy at work. Everyone with wildly incorrect ring sizes go like too small, or is it just like all over the board? Because that's wild. Go figure, like all of mine, I know what my ring sizes are more or less. I'm normally pretty good, she says, looking at her rings. Although this finger had problems on Tuesday, I think it was. There was some sort of joint issue. Um, and it's fine now, but it meant like my ring, my usual ring that I put there wasn't, wasn't happy there. So I had to move things. But it's been a long day of clipping coupons. Looks like there's a sale on box brownie mix. Both, all of... Them two sizes up and down. Huh. Oh, that's so weird. Go figure. I would understand if maybe, like, everybody was off because they thought, like, they gained weight somehow. Like, that much weight over the holidays. I don't know. I gained weight over the holidays. Whoops. But, like, weird. That's super off. Yeah, not so off that actually that my rings don't fit. Now that I think of it, they've been still fine. Huh. Weird. That reminds me, I wonder what Joseph's up to. I should see if he wants to hang out. Or if he wants to go to the store with me and use these coupons. Looks like he's online. And he actually responds, unlike Stranger Danger. Hey Joseph, wanna hang? Parker! I hope you finally recovered from your brownie-induced coma. And I know I promised you a fun hang, but tonight I'm actually chaperoning a youth group mixture. Oh my god, mixer rather. Amanda's invited, of course. If you're not doing anything, you should come. People think it costs money to get their fingers sized. It doesn't, but I, oh geez. So it's mostly too many people taking wild guesses. Oof, that's annoying. And a chaperone with me because I need the help. Less nice. I think for a moment, I'm a little bummed out, of course. I suppose I just wanted to some me and Joseph time. I am a very needy father. Have we realized that? Like I always want them to spend time with only me. Jay, I'm aware you also just sent me a sticker and I will look at it later. <laughs> oh god, unless this is another case of I suddenly have messages on all of my other social media platforms also from Jay. I love you, Jay. I'm just laughing. Because <laughs> that's the one I see right now. Anyways. I'm apparently a very needy dad, though. So we're learning. <laughs> Good, I'm excited. <laughs> Oh, my life. Uh, what the heck? My friend needs help and I'm gonna stop being so self-centered. Tape back. Buddy, if you need me, you got me. Don't know the rest of this. Just tell me where I need to be tonight. Let's roll! You- Oh god, youth group mixture. This should be- Mixer. I don't know why I keep saying mixture. I, it's like I'm putting them- I've got brownie batter on the brain, apparently. Brownie batter brain. Boob. Beep, beep, beep. Mommy, sorry, mommy. <laughs> God, I can't watch shows anymore because literally sometimes it's just me. Be it's me going, mommy, sorry, mommy, sorry. Or <laughs> I like sometimes it's a good thing. The pandemic. Hope you're no, no, no. I 100% got that reference, and I also say it all the time myself. Um, or I also have done daddy. No, sorry. Daddy. Sorry. I do. I do both. I do all. And I'm like, 
it's just sometimes the pandemic for me personally is a good thing because i'm pretty sure if they let me out in public i would just not only be a menace to society like i always have been but i would say those things out loud to people and i don't know if it would go very well you know <laughs> oh my god kind of like the don't be suspicious don't be suspicious don't be suspicious don't be anyways i could probably go on that one for a while too where are you off to? Are you going extreme couponing? I'm actually gonna go show chaperone this youth mixer dance thing that's happening at Joseph's church. Says you're invited, but if you don't want to come, I'll cover for you. Always be sus. I, I am always sus. I just don't want everybody to think that I am always sus. Although I think my work is worried about me again because I've started saying very strange, still slightly relevant things, but um, I think they're worried already great start to the new year hmm you know what i'm down maybe i can make some new friends well, that's a good attitude but i'll have you know i'm mostly doing this for the potential of free food i mean yeah obviously thank you manda you got four daughter points today can i trade them in for a daughter lava lamp sorry you only have enough for a daughter spider ring or some of those plastic jumpy frogs i always like those things they try their hardest it's inspirational huh yeah, who needs the just hanging in there cat posters when you have those sticky frog things? They are the ones that are truly just trying to hang in there and hang on for dear life on that wall. Um. I'm sorry, what? Jesus is what now? What, what, what is Jesus doing? Jesus is what? Hi, age dog. I know! That- that is... Okay. I mean, this game is made by the Game Grumps. I'm not 100% surprised, but I am also a little surprised. <laughs> Jesus having a great day is really what we're saying here. We arrive at the church to find that nobody's there. There are decorations and balloons and banners and everything, but no youths. I am, I am sorry, I'm laughing. I'm just laughing at you guys. Chat makes me laugh. Chat makes me giggle. Hmm, I have been to a couple of dances in my life. And not that I want to paint myself as some sort of dance expert, but generally dance requires people. Oh. And those people need to be dancing. All of a sudden, Joseph drags up to us. He looks frazzled. You're here! I need your help. Joseph gestures to the hand-painted banner hanging above the church doors, reading, Jesus is coming. <laughs> Yikes. Well, that's certainly a thing. God made all things, Manda, except for the banner. Ernest made that. <laughs> I genuinely can't tell if he meant that maliciously or he just can't spell good. You know what God also does? Forgives. He forgives teenagers and he never ever breaks their mod pods. Fox mods. Fox mods? I don't know, pod. Oh no. I already cannot do the wordsy thingsies. Huh? Words are overrated, right? Right? Are you going to break Ernest's box spot? Uh. No, Amanda, that would be a sin. I think. It's the one right after Sloth. Uh. Parker, I need your help getting this down before anybody sees it. I can swing that. Amanda, can you help? Mm -hmm. Physical labor, huh? Hmm. Hmm. And begins scanning the ra mostly empty, rapidly scanning the mostly empty room, looking for an escape route. No. I have to go set up the food. Hmm. Food's already set up. I'm gonna do a final inspection pass on the food, make sure it's up to code. I'm gonna eat your food. Amanda! <laughs> Woo, she can really book it when she wants to. Her father was a giant pair of legs. I dated some giant arms once, but it turned out to be they were all right. Did you date a Geodude? Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's how I'm understanding that. You must have been devastated. <laughs> it was Armageddon. No, it's... I get it. Ooh. I'll workshop it. There's a gem in there somewhere. Yes. No, there's not. I'm really glad you're here, Parker. Are you enjoying my company, or did you just lure me out for my strong arms and height advantage? Ooh. A little of both? Uh, it's always something with you, Joseph. <laughs> something handsome and pious? You're not that pious! <laughs> Debatable. You just alluded to breaking a child's vape pen. Ooh. I would have lost the Ooh. debate. You ready to do this? Let's make some magic happen. 
Magic isn't real. God said that. Mm, God was also a bush at one point. Oh, Lord. Okay, this is... The, so the problem is I take, obviously, God's name in vain very frequently, as I'm sure you have all noticed. Um, which is why it's always extra amusing whenever I do the dates with Joseph. I feel like they have an extra spice to them then. <laughs> That turd Ernest had one final trick of his sleeve. Looks like this nightmare is stapled and taped six ways from Sunday. Like into the wall or any ideas? What was that voice prompt? I don't know what that was. Anyways, what happened to your strong arms and night advantage? Ah, right. I forgot about those. But I realized my oversized dad fingies are far too large to get leverage on the tiny staples. That's why you just rip it. Rip it good. Force. You got a hammer I can use to pry these off? Parker, this is a church. We get a little nervous around hammers. I'm sorry, what? And nails. Hey. I'm kidding, we just don't have a hammer. Um, mm, mm, don't know how I feel about that, Joseph. Don't know how I feel about that. But we have to hurry. The youths will be here any minute and I'll never hear the end of it if we don't fix this. H dog, how are you feeling after your booster shot yesterday? Because I know you got boosted, baby! Those are words. You understood them. I ran to grab the marker that Ernest used to draw this thing and jump back on the ladder. Can't get it down, but we can send a different message. I did. Oh no, sweetie. Oh jeez. Wait, so is this ghost H dog that's messaging right now? Is that what I have on my hands? Is I have a ghost? Do I need to. Should I be watering your plants? I don't know. At least chicken wings were your last meal. Could be a zombie. <laughs> nah, I think she's being, she's able to type too well for a zombie in my opinion. Ghost makes sense though. Oh my God. Jesus is cumin. Je Jesus isn't coming. Oh my gosh. Jesus is calming. I want to get the chicken wingies. Get them wingies. Them wingies be good. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to start talking about pizza again? Because that's always a conversation I'm happy to have. Oh my god. So I ordered Pizza Hut. Like the last time I streamed, right? And the next day, I end up on Twitter. And the, Ontar the Ca Canadian Pizza Hut Twitter account was like... Without act, like without being blatant about it, basically mocking the Ontario Premier in one of their posts. And I'm like, I'm suddenly so glad I supported you because this is great. If I am paying for the social media coordinator to be able to send that post, money well spent. Happy to do that. Anyways. I'm able to turn the U into an A and an L somehow. It's a little tight, but it works. Eggplants! But yeah, I owe chicken wings, chicken wings, hot dog and bologna. Anyway, no, uh, <laughs> I love chicken wings and pizza and carbs. We know this. This is always, this is always what it is. Bask in his calming presence, Joseph. Relax. Crisis is averted. Let's just hope the youths don't notice. They're going to notice regardless. I don't know what you want from my life. Mmm, chicken macaroni. Yeah. Mmm, I also know I want macaroni. I want pasta. I always want pasta. Hmm, the DJ should be here by now. Oh, this lo this guy looks fun. This guy looks like a party. Just then, the doors swing open and a man struts in with his DJ equipment. Wait, you're... In he says Lawrence of Arabia. I don't know why. Anyways, wait, you're not the usual guy. What happened to Evan? Evan knew exactly when to play the Cupid Shuffle. Spin Master Quinn. Hey, hey! You should do the homemade mac and cheesies. It's a good plan. Is is like best plan ever though. Yes. Yes, you should. It's good comfort food for cold days. And it is cold times. This entire this is this is cold season. Which means all of the comfort foods. That's all we eat. Comfort. <laughs> hey hey, I'm not Evan. Evan sold all of his DJ equipment to backpack through Europe, so I'm filling in for him. Oh no, bye Evan. 
I do envy him, though. What I would give to drop everything and start over. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you all right? I am. All right? I'm better than all right. I am DJ Spin Master Quinn. I usually do trivia nights, but I moonlight on the ones and twos and give myself a sense of purpose. That is... I don't think he's okay. Well, you'll have to do. You have a playlist of fun songs that the youths will like that won't inspire impure thoughts or tempt them to the dark side, right? I don't trust this. This is gonna go great. Believe me, buddy, I got what you need. Okay, great. I'll let you get set up. This is an accident waiting to happen. Let's keep an eye on this one. You sound like he was just gonna play Creep by Radiohead on repeat. <laughs> He's a creep. He's a weirdo. The hell is he doing here? He don't belong here. Anyways, not the actual lyrics. I'm aware. That was intentional. Uh, after some time, kids from the community, send community start filing into the dance hall. Some of them seem to notice our sign hack, but they don't seem to care. Good! Should have made this a yoga retreat instead. Like, could have been like an entire zen spa experience. You could have nixed the DJ, done yoga, face masks, mani patties. Could have been really good. Because then it's Jesus is calming and brings you zen. <laughs> Total rebranding. Most of the kids group off into tiny clusters, standing in circles and casting sideways glances at the other groups of teens. Man, I don't miss being a teen. I don't miss being a teenager, period. Hey, hey, party people! Oh, God help us. Coming at you with the sound that people want! No, you probably don't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Send help. The next tune goes up to all the ladies in the audience. Ladies, let me hear you say yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good stuff. Oh, lordy. All right. I, uh, man, it's been a couple of heavy days. This one's actually just for my wife, Sandra. I hope we can work things out, my little Hunnels Lucky son of Colvine. Oh, yeah. we called it a little too well. Man decides to something pizza in one hand and punch in the other. Creep, huh? Bold choice for a youth group. Let's see where he goes with this. After the song finishes, he plays Creep again. Is the DJ crying? I think we need to save this. Uh, if you watch the kids really closely, you can catch them cringe every time Thom York swear. Oh, good. This is going great. There they go. Maybe we should do something about this. He's killing the vibe. They're listening to swears. Sad swears. Oh no, not the sad swears. It's not just normal swears. It's the sad ones too. You guys should try to give him a pep talk. Maybe work him up to Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. Or at the very least, No Rain by Blind Melon. No. You want to help us cheer him up? Uh, actually, just my friend, uh, Fred, Frederick, Frederico. Puerto Rico. He's from Latin. I didn't know you're taking a Latin class. I'm not. So he's from the country Latin? Yes, it exists. Don't Google it. Amanda, you're useless. I love you, but also. Sad Master Quinn. <laughs> that was Sad Master Quinn instead of Spin Master. Oh my god. Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, my dudes, how's the party jamming? It's not jamming at all. Oh, I'm sorry, fellas. I'm just taking a moment to find my groove. Quinn is gonna get his groove back. Gotta play the sad tunes properly. Appreciate the bangers, right? Oh my god, that's not how DJing works. Shut up and play the hits. Play the booty bumpers. That's what Jesus would have wanted. <laughs> I feel like Joseph will be so mad at me. Now stop me if I'm out of line here since I've never been a DJ and I do not have any current plans to become one, but I don't think that's how it works. Kids came out here after a good time. You gotta cool it with the sad stuffs. Eggplants, eggplants, eggplants. Hey buddy, if it's problems you're having with, Joseph leans in close to me. Who is his wife's name again? Sandy. 
Oh, it's not Sandy. It's Sandra. Crap! Already three times? Has that been? Oh, maybe I didn't reset it. I don't know. We'll see. I can help you too. I do counseling. It's my job here. Oh, I didn't reopen. I know what it was. Interesting. Th thanks, both of you. <sighs> Jay redeemed a hydrate. H Dog got the thirsty. We're good. I screwed up though. <laughs> oh my god. I can help you too. I do counseling. It's my job here, and I'm very good at it. Oh, I, I don't know. I can tell that you're hurting. Nobody voluntarily listens to that much Radiohead on repeat unless they're really going through some tough times. Trust me, I know. How much have you listened to Radiohead on repeat? Hmm. There, there, bud. It's gonna be okay. I am sad. Oh my god, this guy. The, thank you. I'll, I'll put on some dance hall anthems. You're the best, but Master Quinn. And with yet another crisis averted, despite the fact that I definitely made Joseph upset with me because I chose the wrong name, we return to the dance floor where somehow Amanda has procured ice cream. All right. They have ice cream here. Good work. How's it looking out there? Well, for dance, there's not a whole lot of dancing. Looks like people are starting to bail, though. This is a disaster. Don't be so hard on yourself. The ice cream, top notch. Mm. I'm sorry for dragging you into this. You and I managed to just go home. I'm not going to make you stay here for the train wreck. It's not a disaster. We can still fix this. We can. I suddenly realize what we have to do. Amanda, get out of here. I don't think you're going to want to be here for this. Or be seen with me for after this. Oh, God. You're not going to. Throw my car keys to Amanda. I'll get a ride back with Joseph. Just remember me as I am right now. Not... As what I'm about to become. This is not a good sign. Mm -hmm. eh, eh, eh. Hair in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Nice knowing you, Pops. She runs. <laughs> Joseph, gonna turn it up on the dance floor. With luck, we can get these youths into it as well. Right. Are you in or are you out? Are we about to do the cha-cha slide? I need to know. See you on the other side. On the other side. Right here. Nope. Thinking of a different song altogether. Cha cha slide. Let's start them off easy and work our way up to more technical stuff. Oh god, we're going real old. We're going dad moves here. Um. Oh god. We're not starting with the worm. The worm feels too complicated. Lawnmower. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, okay, so let's go with lawnmower. That sounds really simple. All right, let's rip this. Let's rip start this baby. Start mo lawn mowing on the dance floor. Hmm. What dads? These are these are absolute dad moves. Okay, we got everybody's attention. Let's turn up the heat. Ooh, sprinkler. Sprinkler's good. Hand behind the head. Point it figured out. Point at and make direct eye contact with several of the youths. They are terrified and uncomfortable. Oh. We must water the lawn. We just, <laughs> we just came off the end of an imaginary drought and the grass is dying. Oh my life. Don't worry, imaginary grass. We got you. Look to the youths. They're getting into it. Better pick it up or they'll lose interest quick. I don't know what these are. I'm going to assume hammer slide is fun. Okay. Good effort, buddy, but I think the pan flashed a little too long ago. Moonwalk. Start sliding my feet backwards. Can't tell if this looks good or not, but I think these kids see enough people doing moonwalks so they understand the general concept. Surprisingly, dude falls off flawlessly. Oh my god. They're cheering now. Okay. We're just, they're just having a rough time. Okay, unrehearsed backflip is probably a terrible idea. Um, lifting Joseph up is going to turn up terribly for me, I think. Death drop, on the other hand, uh, feels like it is the least likely to injure me at the end of the day, as weird as that sounds. Seen enough internet videos of this move where I think I could really nail it. On the beat drop, I kick my leg up, dramatically fall to the floor, my back landing on the ground with a shablam. All the kids immediately st start screaming. But at what cost? I feel I will feel this for weeks to come. My chiropractor is going to be pissed. What was that? The future of dance. 
Kids swarm to the dance floor. They're all laughing and dancing to the music. Okay, cool. Death Drop was the way to go. I mostly chose that because I watched way too much Drag Race. So, somewhat obligingly, the kids take the dance floor and start to move around. Uh, before long, they're starting to laugh and enjoy themselves. It was dicey, but we've done our jobs. All right, come on. The rest of the chaperones will take it from here. What? I have something to show you. Why are you showing me a dark corridor, Joseph? You are not the one I pegged for stranger danger. Leads me out of the main room, down various darkened corridors of the church. I barely see anything and find myself tripping over my own feet, not to mention the back problems I have sustained from that death drop. I think I lost you. His hand finds mine in the darkness. Oh, this is becoming romantic, I hope. I'm right here, darling. I'm just glad you can't see me blush. We keep walking. Where are we? The church is huge. I have to admit, I was a little dis- Oh! <gasps> Joseph, thou shalt not lie. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I don't know. I'm not good at the religion stuff. I know that was really good. What happened to lying being one of the ten things you're not supposed to do? <laughs> Who called it? <laughs> Thought it was a thing. I think there's an exception for when you're trying to surprise a friend. Is it with brownies? There, there are a few other things that but I feel like it's inappropriate for me to, to suggest them at this moment. Joseph closes the door behind us. I guess we're in a random room in the depths of the church. Now, I am stuck here forever. This is where I die. I will haunt this building. So, last time we talked about escaping to an island where we could live out an easy tropical lifestyle. Where our only worry is, is to find that lost shaker of salt. Ah, yes, we were going to go Margaritaville. That was our plan. Sir? Sir? Since we can't actually do that, I figured I could bring a little bit of the tropics to Maple Bay. It's not quite Margaritaville, but something like it. Joseph throws on the lights. <laughs> it's the Margarita Zone! <laughs> oh, I love it! Welcome to the Margarita Zone. Somewhere across between the Twilight Zone and Margaritaville. But look around as my eyes adjust to the light. It's his office, but there are twin. Mm, this is cute. There are twinkle lights strung across the walls, little garlands of fake flowers, and two beach chairs set up in front of the desk. There's a blender and two glasses sitting on the table. Ukulele music plays softly in the background. This is adorable. I like the lawn chairs too, like the the beach chairs. Yeah. This is amazing. There's no pop tops to step on here, buddy. You did this for me. Joseph takes a seat and gestures for me to do the same. I did this for us. I think we both earned it. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Looking for my lost shaker of salt. Yes, I do know the words to that song. <laughs> you really went all out. I have a flair for the dramatic. And you can't leave the community if you don't know how to make a good margarita. Joseph. If you tell me these are not alcoholic, we're going to have words, but otherwise, my dude, my man, I am, I am proud of you. Take a sip of mine. This is a killer margarita. I would follow this man. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think the dance floor is going to go okay without our sick yeah. dance moves? No, not here. You're missing the part of the point of margarita zone. Margarita Zone is a place of rest and relaxation. It's a place where you can kick up your feet and forget about your worries for a while. I kind of love Margarita Zone. I kind of want to have my own Margarita Zone. Okay, watch for blown out flip-flops. Let's get a tattoo of Mexican cuties. It's heaven on earth with an onion. No. Oh, I'm trying to think of what there's a line. Okay, there we go. I'll just stick with that answer. It was fine. It's a real fear. Thankfully, no heels will get cut in my version of Margarita Zone. He gestures to the makeshift bar he's made. You know, it's funny. This reminds me so much of when I was younger. I've been meaning to ask. What did you do before you started preaching? I want to know this as well because, let's face it, you are a mystery, sir. Well, not that much of a mystery. But you seem to be about God and boats and boats and God and God and boats. And I would like to know more. It's uninteresting. 
I left home young and got into a lot of trouble. That sounds actually very interesting. Trouble meant I got to go wherever I wanted, whenever I wanted. I hitchhiked on the country, went on adventures, met all kinds of people, did some stuff I'm not too proud of. Now these are the stories we need to know, sir. But I was young and in love and I didn't have to answer to anybody. Ooh. And now I host fundraiser car washes and take the kids to soccer practice on the weekends. Yeah. Sorry, don't mean to get heavy there. That's okay. Seems like you spend a lot of your time taking care of others, but not enough time taking care of yourself. You sound like someone who's going to end up on an episode of Queer Eye. Just saying. If you need to talk about it, I'm here for you. Joseph stares deeply into the blender filled with ice and margarita mix, contemplating his life decisions. Yeah. It's just. Think about margarita filled. <laughs> really? Like, the song or the place that actually exists in, I think it's either Florida. I think it's in Florida. Like, in which case, I'm a little bit worried about you. But that's okay. Or I guess the concept of it. There we go. The place where I can strum on my six string while I wait for the shrimp to boil and drink margaritas all the time. Forget my worries. That sounds delightful, sir. It's an easy life. I had Margaritaville once. But I think the closest I'm ever going to get back to it is Margarita Zone. A short and occasional reprieve from daily life. Is that such a bad thing? This is pretty nice. It doesn't last forever. That's the rub. When you're in Margarita Zone, it's not like your problems have really gone away. You're just choosing to ignore them. Maybe you're looking at it the wrong way. Maybe Margarita Zone is actually better than Margaritaville because Margaritaville itself is an impossible ideal. Remember what Spin Master Quinn said before he started sobbing to Radiohead? Sometimes you have to play the sad tunes to appreciate the bangers. Stepping on a pop top is your biggest concern. How could you possibly appreciate the boiling shrimp? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And Margarita Zone isn't landlocked to the office. I think it's about finding little pieces of Margarita Zone throughout your day and taking joy in those moments. It's, uh, well, <laughs> Margarita Zone is really just the, the margaritas we find along the way. <laughs> the margaritas we meet along the way. Oh. That's awfully optimistic of you. It doesn't have to be anything big. For me, I think it's just being able to sit quietly, do word jumbles, and drink some strong coffee in the morning. See my daughter smile, or actually for me today, it was, so I have, like, I'm lactose intolerant. I don't always care, I eat a lot of cheese. But I have this, like, oat milk eggnog. So, and I got one of those, like, stovetop espresso maker things. So I made an iced eggnog latte today. It was delicious and delightful with some, like, freshly grated nutmeg on top. Hmm. And that's how I didn't kill anybody at work today. True story. Anyways. I don't think I was actually that close to killing anybody at work today, but you know. But yeah. I smile at Joseph. To spend some quality time with a good friend. Duh. Yeah? Yeah. I kind of want margaritas now, though. <laughs> I can feel myself leaning closer to Joseph. <gasps> we learning for a smooch? Are we getting a smooch? How much of the margaritas have we had? Is it just me, or is he leaning in closer, too? Joseph tenses up. He downs the, he downs the rest of the margarita. Yes! Waterfall! Let's go! <laughs> Thanks, h Hmm. <clears throat> It's getting late. We should head back. Sir! No! Margarita zone is not the friend. Well, it's the friend. It's a friend zone. But it could be a friendly zone. Oh. Yes, we are in the margarita zone. I have been singing Margaritaville, but then getting angry about how now I really want a margarita, actually. Sure. Joseph and I make the dance wrap-ups without incident before he takes me back to the cul-de-sac. Walk me home! I hop out of Joseph's car. Wait, he's drinking and driving? Sir, you cannot do this. Oh. Hmm. Thanks again for the help. Thanks again for Margarita Zone. Oh. We'll go back there one day. We will. If we do, it'll be my own damn fault. Good one. 
Some people claim that there's a woman to blame, but I don't. It's definitely my fault. <laughs> I walk into the living in front of my Amanda curled up under a blanket and groaning on the couch. Hey, Panda, you feeling okay? Dad, I have a tummy ache. Oh, it's me after I've eaten too much cheese. Oh. I drank too deeply from the well of life, and now I pay the price. Oh. And by well of life, I mean that big, lukewarm pull, punch bowl of seltzer juice and sherbet. Yeah, that's fair. Need anything, kiddo? Time machine that goes back to approximately two hours in the past so I can warn myself of the folly of excess. I'll pour you a glass of water. Love you. How'd the dance go? Oh, I crushed it. And by it, I mean my back. Trust me, my chiropractor is going to have words in the morning. Got the kids at the dance floor at the expense of my dignity. A fair trade. Also, everything hurts. See you in the morning. Aw, yeah. Date complete! Alright, 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 alright. Not too bad. I don't think we did bad on this one. A! I am slowly collecting all the letters of the alphabet at this point. I haven't totally bombed a day, but I've had a C, I think, is the worst I've done. Yee. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. I do love the margarita zone. I'm not gonna lie. Kind of in love with that. <sighs> okay. Another dreary night, another listless stroll through Maple Bay. I've really been bonding with the community at Jim and Kim's lately, so my strolls have been leading me there more and more. C is a shameful score. No! I have other games I eventually want to play. I am not going to be solely a dream daddy streamer. If that's even a thing, I think you would get sick of it. Um, that was one time. I can't nail every date, okay? I'm trying. Doing my best. Peter, the, Peter, the man from the bank. Keith from down the street. Evelyn, who I saw at the deli that one time. Guy whose name I think is Carl are basically about all members of the family at this point. I love that, Carl. In fact, I heard Neil, the surly bartender, mention that tonight is Keith from down the street's birthday and that he'd get to have that little baby and he'd have to, well, God, words. <sniffs> I'm not good at the words. Why can't I read? I don't know. And that he'd have to get that little baby a little cake for his special little day. Wow. it's a lot of littles in there. I think he was probably just being a dick. But I head into the bar anyways. The mere possibility of cake is strong enough to lure me in. It's true. I, I, step in, in, I step inside just in time to see Neil washing a cake tray from a crime scene outline of pink icing on it. Huh. Guess it really was Keith from down the street's birthday and I missed it. Sit down and order a beer. Hmm. Mary! Mary, Mary, quite contrary. How does your drink go? As I sit down at the bar, I notice Mary from next door sitting in the corner of the room drinking alone again. Baby, why, why? She seems so weary and so sad. She's been doing this more and more often lately. Pang of guilt shoots through me. Does she know? Is this because of me? Am I a homewrecker? <gasps> the margarita zone took it a zone too far. I'm gonna say, I always say hi. I am social. I decide to go say hello. I walk over to her booth. She doesn't look up. A seat taken? You. Okay, maybe she doesn't like me right now. Hey. hey. Having fun with your new best friend, Joseph? Uh, he's a great... I'm so glad. I'm so happy for you too. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mary, I'm not... I never accuse you of anything uncouth, Parker. You're just having an innocent, very platonic time with my husband. A supportive friendship. You do not sound like you believe this one at all, ma'am. You're a good friend, aren't you? This feels like a trap. Anybody else smell a trap? Does anybody smell a trap? I'm smelling a trap. It smells like a trap. It, it is 100% a trap. But I'm not dating you, so I'm going to choose the answer I want. Mary's P Eve. Nope. Which is fine. She's also drunk, but she's also should know she she should be doing better. Anyways, unlike some people in this life. So you're an expert on my marriage now. 
Yeah. Doesn't take an expert to see that you two are miserable. Then what does that make you? You were miserable a long time before you started poking into our business, buddy boy. Don't come around thinking you're some paragon of empathy just because you got involved when you weren't welcome. This was a mistake. No, this is a trap. You know, you're really not his type. I'm surprised. Ah. What do you mean not his type? Welcome. You've got dads. Okay. That was interesting. It was different. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what do you mean his type? Also, I'm going to argue that you're not his type either, Mary. Anyways. I just, the girl needs, I think, I think Mary just needs to, like, sober up and, like, figure out her life. Like, I think she needs a vacation. I think she needs, like, a spa weekend. I think she needs to get away. And then I think they need a mar marriage counselor. Definitely that is not me, though. <laughs> okay, we're gonna, we're doing the bottom floor today, folks. This is what we're doing. We've done, we did Joseph. We're gonna go Hugo, and then we'll end off today with, uh, Vamp Daddy. Um, and we'll see where this goes. We'll see what happens. I don't know if something finishes after you've gone on three dates with them. I, I don't... I don't know how this game works. I just play to win. No, I don't. It's a lie. Hugo! Come on, nerd dad. Let's do this. She was typed on top of four demons. Not fair. Well, and the twins are quite literally... They seem like demons. I should take Hugo up on his offer to hang out. I had a lot of fun with him at the aquarium. I type out a message to him on dead book. Hey, still want a cheese board? Jesus. Okay, okay. Oh god, what was that? Colin is still- uh, <laughs> Colin is being a humongous shithead. He won't stop sending the same picture of Jackie Chan in a mesh shirt to the printer. And it's a nice picture! <laughs> but it's wasting all my paper. Whoops, sorry, meant that for another teacher. But seriously, seriously, he's insufferable. There's pictures of Jackie Chan everywhere. Oh, my life. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Save a couple for me. My Jackie Chan scrapbook is a little light on content. I think this would really round it out. <laughs> Let me get back to you after class ends. <laughs> well, I guess there's only one thing to do now. Start a Jackie Chan scrapbook so they don't call me out. Dad nap. I hop on the couch and turn on some antiques road warrior. <laughs> Does that mean they fight with the antiques on the road? I got this ornate cabinet from a yard sale for $5 in 1982. To be told what it once belonged to a confederate general is a huge surprise. This will feed my tribe for weeks. What? I really like the way the appraiser's voice echoes through the mouthpiece of his leather armor slash bondage gear. Maybe this is that ASMR thing Amanda keeps telling me about. I drift off to sleep. Oh, my life. Uh, hey, sorry, but that Colin's in the principal's office now. He says he knows Jackie Chan personally and that Jackie won't be happy to hear about this. About which part? The images or my scrapbook? I get off work in a little while and I continue to be very serious about cheese boards. So am I. I'm always serious about cheese boards and that's like me as a human. It's not even me as dad form. I am always, despite lactose intolerance, very, very passionate about cheese. What's up, Buttercup? Mm. Just getting home from school? Where are you going? I'll have a meeting with the board. The board? A cheese board is what I meant. I'm getting cheese with your teacher. Will you be able to fend for yourself until dinner time? Yeah, I'll live, but only if you can talk him into going easy on me for the final. Sorry, buddy. Ball's in your court. What's in my core, you ask? Just a variety of delicious cheeses, meats, and their accompanying crackers. Maybe some olives, a little bit of fig jam. Oh, Ugh. God, don't do this to me. I want charcuterie board. I want a charcuterie board. You heard me. A charcuterie board. That sounds actually even worse. Anyways. Fine. Waterboarding is so passe. Yep, 
Oh my god, that would be so mean. You could smell the cheese too. Like if they had like a raclette going on, so like that warm gooey cheese that you slice off with a hot knife, and you can smell the cheese in the air, and it drips in front of you, but you can't have it. That I would die. I would actually die. I don't think anybody realizes how close I would be to death. I would not be okay. Sweetie, he'll get it one day. But now, I gotta see a, a man about some Manchego. Please leave. I walk into a quaint French diner and Hugo waves me down to the booth within a corner. He looks pretty tired. Long day? Every day is a long day when you teach middle schoolers. Oh. Colin started a gambling ring. The pictures of Jackie Chan were just a cover. He's bartering in those little rubber band bracelets that are also shapes. Is that the one parents think means sex stuff? Those ones. Yep. But the reports are just the sensationalist news media capitalizing on the fears of suburban parents, as usual. <sighs> At least I hope. Oh. Right now, I'm very ready for for a for a some fine wine. Nope, for some fine wine and some delicious cheese. The waitress stops by, stops by, and takes her order for the biggest cheese plate you have the you have for the love of God. Please just put cheese in my mouth. That is always my order, and recommended some wine. I know! Somebody who was in charge of the copy editing, uh, missed, missed the something. It happens. They're only human. Cut them some slack. Do you two want a scorecard for trivia? We came here on trivia night? Yep. We're starting in a few minutes. Pretty much everyone here is playing. Oh! I, I understood your joke, Eric. I, I see the joke. I understand the joke. I sigh heavily at the joke. You love to play, right, Parker? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Waitress hands us a scorecard and a few pencils before leaving. So the pro so my brain is so hardwired into like specific words meaning different things. Slack to me means not like cutting somebody some slack, but. Like the the communications program, because uh, we use it for one of my clients at work. So my brain immediately goes to that, as opposed to any other phrase. An enthusiastic joke acknowledged. <laughs> I'm so glad. I might not be much help here. I'm not very good at being smart, I guess. Haha, <laughs> me neither, buddy. I told one of my coordinators today, I was like, you need to read this e-blast. I can put it together, I can make it look pretty, but I cannot comprehend words and make sure things make sense right now. So if you could. That's how work was going for me. Come on, I doubt it'll be that hard. Parker! Oh god. Brian! Turn around to see Matt and Brian with their daughters, looking like they're ready for trivia. Hey guys, you're all here for the old question and answers game? Yep, we come here every week, but Brian and Daisy carry the team. Carmen Cita and I are just here for the cheese. Matt, I'm always here for the cheese. Provolone 2 lost in New York. I've been reigning champions for the last month. Provolone 2! <laughs> lost in New York! I love it. That's so good. Oh my goodness. Man, Brian's great at trivia too. That raises the stakes. Great name though. Solid team name. That's Carmen Cita's claim to fame. It hurts me how good I am at puns. Like father, like daughter. You guys gonna try to give us a run for your money? For our money? For our a money? For money. We'll see what we can do. I will destroy you! Uh, we're just here for cheese too. Listen, trivia is great, but we all know the real trivia championships are the cheeses we ate along the way. I don't know if that's how the phrase works, but I understand and appreciate the sentiments. Hey. I'll have to think of some good team name, but I think this will be fun. Good luck! Competition! Well, I guess we need a name. Got any ideas? Oh, oh no! Okay, for those in the audience, in chat, who love their cheese puns, cheesiest puns, quite literally, as I get myself rearranged because I feel like it's needed. As we dive into these four, oh my god, guys, guys, easy, breezy, beautiful. Havarti like it's 1999. 
Ah, real Munsters. Or Craigslist Swiss Confection. What? That last one's not good. Yeah, Brie. Brie, we fill in the Brie. We fill in our easy breezy. Feeling easy and breezy and beautiful. Okay. <laughs> good. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate that. Those were th some of those were good though. Ah, real ah, all mon ah, ah, real monsters. I think it was that one's pretty. That's pretty good. It's pretty dope. Anyways, that'll do just nicely. But it just comes by with our cheese board, and we revel in its glory. I really want cheese now, guys. I was gonna make a salad for dinner, but what about cheese? Anyways. Ah, oh, excuse me. I can already see a piece of cheddar with my name on it. Mm, excuse me. I don't know why I'm burping like this. I pair it with some strawberry preserves and slide into dairy-induced ecstasy. What? No cheese board for you, Alex? I will eat all the cheese forever. There's such a fine variety of cheeses and charcuterie that I am positively overwhelmed. A quick dip into seasoned nuts, a slice of savory yet salty gouda, or a perhaps a focaccia, crisp, topped with honey and goat cheese. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry, I must clarify. I mean, I don't have cheese. <laughs> yeah, I am also lamenting that I do not have a cheese board. Um, if you have enough kinds of cheese, it's functionally identical to a salad. <laughs> I like how you think. I like how that is. Now I want focaccia too. Oh, I want goat cheese. Oh, I want cheese. <laughs> oh, there goes my my thoughts of having a nice, healthy, light dinner. Now it's cheese. I'm so happy. Hugo raises his glass at me. Yes. Cheers. Two cheese. Hey, hey. No. Oh, ooh, warm sourdough bread. Oh, I'm one of those people that also loves doing dipping. So like you have olive oil and balsamic vinegar and you dip your bread in that. Like, oh, especially if there's like a little bit of flaky salt on top of it. Cause then you get like the fatty, the salty, and then the warm crisp bread. Oh, guys, I think we've learned that half of my streams turn into me talking about food and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not surprised. But also, I apologize. <laughs> uh. My world just revolves around food at this point, or at least it should. Okay. Oh my God. Sad Master Quinn has returned. Middle aged man in backwards baseball. Oh, I forgot. So, this character design in this game is photo spot on. I know this man. I hate this man. <laughs> I feel you. Oh my god, Katsy, bread soup bowl. Oh, with cheese. Yeah, especially if it was even like, I'm not a huge fan of French onion soup, but if you had enough of the bowl and then French onion soup, and then you have that toasted cheese layer on top of it. Mm. Oh my god, can you imagine? So good. Oh. <laughs> I don't want a salad anymore. I want cheese and bread. <laughs> Everybody ready for some trivia? If the question is, why did your wife leave you? I swear I'm walking out of this place with the full cheese board and my bottle of wine. But I digress. The restaurant chairs. Oh man, seems like everyone's really into this. That's what I like to hear. For those of you who do not know me, I'm Quizmaster Quinn. My actual name is Richard. I just like the alliteration. I see some of you brought your children here tonight. That's cool. My children won't speak to me. Oh, we are already getting in with the awkward. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> Thanks, Stream Elements. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, gosh. Haha, <laughs> I'm just joking around. Classic Quizmaster Quinn humor. It's actually my wife that won't speak to me. She doesn't want kids. Sir. Okay, I'm really worried about you. I'm really worried about Mary. I'm really worried about people in this area now. <clears throat> this is getting real dark. Oh my god. The first category is literature. Excellent. I oh, thank so god. <sighs> His catchphrases are hurting me. You know who loved literature? My dead father. I looked up to him so much. No. 
Sir. Sir. More jokes, classic Quizmaster quips. Just trying to keep it light here, folks. Just like I thought my wife was the light of my life. Hugo, you've got the literature stuff, right? Oh. Does Franz Kafka have an irrational fear of one day waking up as a large, grotesque, insect-like creature? I'm going to assume yes. This is the continent that encompasses the realms of Gondor, Rohan, Mordor, and Lothlorien. Other notable sites include Isengar, the Markwood, and Rivendell. What is the elvish name for this continent? Does anybody actually remember? Because it's been a hot minute since I've done anything Lord of the Rings. I know it's not Hoth. Is it Endor? Okay, I was between Arenal or Endor and I wasn't sure. Lemuria sounded really, really bad. I get the impression this DJ isn't going to be asked for future events. This DJ needs to get fired. h Dog, I know it's not Hoth. Don't do that to me. Don't even. Star Wars, man. I know you. <laughs> I still haven't set up the one for Eric. <laughs> so it's still just only like her, but not h Dog. I'm so sorry, honey. Okay, we're gonna go Endor. Endor. Endor sounds right. Oh, thank God. Endor is the cute teddy bears. No, those weren't! <laughs> nice try! <laughs> Who was the writer that created Tarzan and John Carter of Mars? What? You don't need to set anything up, though. I'm a flawless chat. <laughs> Who wrote Tarzan and the other thing? Nathaniel Hawthorne is like my best guess. Only because he sounds like an actual author. I don't know these other dudes. Does anybody have anybody I gotta guess? Anybody? Otherwise, I think I'm just gonna go. I assume they're all authors, I hope. I don't know. Rongo! Rongo! Okay. Oh my god. Oh. I don't know. I, I thought he was making a commentary. I know, I missed the question too. Um, it's somebody's alter ego. I thought he was making commentary. Correct. Okay, but I guessed the right one. It was somebody's, it was like, this person goes also by this name and all I remember was Dante and I was like, I think that's the Count of Monte Cristo. Quizmaster walks around the room. I think he's doing crowd work. Whoa, nice cheese plate you got there. Do not steal it. If you touch my cheese, sir, I will have your hands. How's that cheese tasting, big guy? Dante wrote the Divine Comedy. Yeah. I don't remember. I'm not good at <laughs> I don't know. I know things, but I don't think I know enough things to say them with enough confidence. But, uh, ye. Yeah. Ha <laughs> great! Cheese used to be my favorite food, but then I developed a lactose intolerance later in life. You are weak, sir. Why would you let that stop you from enjoying sweet, delicious cheese? Sorry to hear that. I also developed clinical depression! Sir? Uh, people don't tell you just to get over your lactose intolerance, right? No, I tell myself to get over my lactose intolerance. <laughs> yeah, savory, delicious cheeses, too. Nobody's like, have you tried exercising to get rid of your debilitating dairy allergy? Or you just need to choose to not let your throat close up when you eat brie? Uh, that's not lactose intolerant. That is actually a casein allergy at this point. Likely casein anyways. It's probably the, the, what is it? Oh my god. The molecule or whatever it is that you are probably allergic to. But it's not intolerance. Intolerance just means you get upset stomachs and can't digest it properly. That is a full-blown allergy, sir. Hmm. I've actually known somebody who had, it was a casein allergy. That was the, I want to say it's molecule. That's not the word I'm thinking of. That's not the correct word though. Enzyme. That was the enzyme that they had an allergy to, which is something that's present in all forms of dairy. Um, and so she had, it was a casein allergy. And so we always had to be really cautious because her partner worked at Starbucks with me way back in the early times. So whenever we made her anything, we had to make sure it was like exceptionally cleaned and stuff like that. So that way there's no trace contacts, but yeah. 
Fun fact. I forgot about Casey and allergies for that reason. Does that scan? I'm trying to workshop my routine here. Who wants to start the next round, please? Because I'm really tired of your weird comments. The next round is cinema. Oh, God. Oh, man. I love the movies. Sometimes I'll retreat into them for days on end because obsessing over fictional universe is easier than engaging with my real emotions and problems. Uh, you're speaking to the right generation now, sir. This is, this is very relatable. Yeah, too real, but also, hear me out, we're with you. The audience is now with you, Quinn. Frodo Baggins, am I right? I'm... Are you trying to tell us you have a hobbit fetish? Is that what you're trying to get across here, sir? Is he okay? Oh. He is not okay. I think it's just his character. I hope. How's your oh. cinema? Spotty, I don't know a lot about movies, but if there are any questions about bad horror movies, I can be of service. You're the bad horror movie buff? Go figure. That's an interesting mm. one. It's a bit of a guilty pleasure. H-Dog. In Return of Jedi, what does Luke ask Leia if she remembers? I'm assuming H-Dog knows this, that's why. Uh, I've not watched these films in a hot minute. I would assume their promise. I don't know. H-Dog, do you have any insight? Or does anybody have any insight? H-Dog's just typically my Star Wars person. Although she hasn't been giving me correct answers tonight, so I don't know. Their mother? Oh. Oh, you think it's that? Mother might be. Sure, we'll go with mother. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you both. What entertainer makes a fourth wall breaking appearance in the film Gremlins 2? I'm sorry, I don't even think I've seen the... I may have actually watched the first Gremlins. I don't... This is gonna be a fun guess. Fourth wall. Hulk Hogan? I can't even think of any... Okay, cool. Thank you, Alex. <laughs> that was like the best guess out of those answers. Like, I don't know. That made the most sense. Which of these 80s horror movies dies not... Oh, does not... Oh, we're struggling with some of the dies not... Yeah, I know, right? We're, we're struggling with some of this stuff. There's a scene where the gremlins break this my camera and he shouts at them. That's funny. That's pretty great. Yeah, this scene, some whoever is in charge of editing this scene uh, missed a few things. The dialogue for this entire, this date. Cause I don't think it's been like this. Anyways, which of these 80s horror movies does not feature an Indian burial ground as part of its setting? The Shining, Within the Woods, Poltergeist, Pet Cemetery. They didn't want to read the script for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I would also blame Quinn. So which one of these does not feature an indigenous burial ground? I have no idea. Yeah, the shi- uh, Yeah. The Shining? We think The Shining? Okay. No. Oh no! Star Wars! <laughs> I wish they would tell me the right answer. Oh my god. It seems like we're doing pretty well, but we're neck and neck with Brian and Matt's team. Those guys are pros. Thanks, guys. Thanks. I look over to the table and give them a friendly, competitive nod. I lock eyes with Brian. He gets a much sterner nod. And the next category is wrestling. What? F. All right. Okay, we're totally boned. Hugo grabs my uh, arm. Wait, I've got this. Thank God. Man, do you know who I would want to wrestle with? Literally anyone. I crave human interaction. Please put me in a chokehold. Quinn. Quinn. Sir. Oh, I 
don't- I, there are too many places we could take this, Quinn. None of them are good. All of them make us worried for you. Oh my goodness. I- I- I got nothing. Please, it's been so long since I've been held. I feel like you shouldn't tell an audience that also includes children that you would like to be choked. That's, um... I can only process my emotions by making jokes out of them. Quinn? Yeah. Let's start the quiz. Remember that this is the lightning round. The first people to answer get the points. Aw, oh, heck. He's focused. He's in it to win it. Question one. This is the original name of Stone Cold Steve Austin in his debut for the WWE. Mm. Hugo's hand shoots up. Yes, the enthusiastic one over there. Steve Austin debuted as the ringmaster. Right. Okay. Points to easy, breezy, beautiful. Oh. Next question. This city was the location of the first ever WrestleMania. Yes. Yes, the one who looks like he's known his answer for his entire oh. life. Lukewarm Steve Austin. <laughs> I would have guessed that too, H-Dog. Uh, that or... No, actually, lukewarm's probably the better one. It's not much you can do with hot in that case. Burning hot Steve Austin? Eh. First WrestleMania was held in New York. New York at Madison Square Garden in 1985. How do you know this much, sir? Matt, yeah, okay. No, Alex, you got it. Hugo's destroying these questions. He's so passionate about this. Hot like magma Steve Austin. There we go. See? Lukewarm is still funnier, though. It's just the, like, hey, we're not sure about Steve Austin. <laughs> Never seen him act like this before. It's kind of hot. Ooh, a tough one. This title match went down in history as the shortest match at WrestleMania to date. Oh, my God. Hugo. Oh. Shovel vs. Kane. Luke. <laughs> Terrible. Sorry, Bucko, but that is incorrect. The answer is actually Daniel Bryan versus Sheamus at WrestleMania 28. I'm, not angry. I'm just disappointed. No, that's absolutely wrong. The real record is Chavo Guerrero versus Kane, WrestleMania 24, March 30th, 2008. Kane took down Chavo, one choke slam, and pinned him for the three count. I will not stand for this travesty. Hey, man, I'm just reading from the card here. I actually don't write these. Well, you're still wrong. Who are you, my ex wife? Wow. Hmm? Fine. Oh. Why does he know so much about wrestling? <sighs> oh, I, uh, you know, I just pick stuff up. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. He's gonna be suspicious. He is suspicious. Anyways. All right, all right, all right, all right. Looks like we're down to the final category. It's a close one between Provolone 2, Lost in New York, and Easy Breezy Beautiful. Heck yes. <laughs> we look over to Brian, Matt, Carmen, Sita, and Daisy all playfully give us thumbs down and stick their tongues out. I eat a big chunk of cheddar without breaking on to eye contact just to show them how serious I am. Oh, what, the Don't Be Suspicious song? I don't know, TikTok. I just sing it all the time. It, like, it, I don't think it, it's just a weird audio that's on there. Oh, is it Perks and Rec? Oh! That's the problem, I don't know where a lot of audios come from. I just sing them. I just assumed it was something- Oh, interesting, good to know, thank you, Katsy. Final category is cool animals. Animals, huh? I never could take care of another living thing. Hell, I can barely take care of myself. <laughs> I'm falling apart. Anyway, here's the questions. Canary Islands were named after what kind of animal? This is, I'm assuming this is meant to be birds. Unless there's a fish that we can think of. Because I don't think it's cats or dogs. 
What's the Canary Islands we named after? I know, bird seems like the obvious answer, but I don't know if that is too obvious. Do we think that's too obvious? I mean, I think I'm just gonna go with it. I can't... h Dog, you think it's fish? It, like, that's what I think too. It must be a fake out. Oh my god. You guys are helping! <laughs> Canary Islands. It's dogs? Are you... And so they are Canaria. Oh! Thank you, Alex. Okay, let's try that. That's right. You're right! Oh my god! Thank you, Alex. That was well done. What is the last animal that appears in the dictionary? <laughs> Uh, oh god. A zebra, a zebu, a ziga ziga, which is what I've decided is from the Spice Girls, obviously. Uh, and, or a zonkey. Once again, zebra sounds like the obvious answer and probably is not. I don't know if a zebu, uh, it's not a ziga ziga. Zig, oh, maybe it is a, that's how you say it. Is it the weevil? I would think it might be the Weevil, too. I don't know. We're gonna go with the Weevil! They live in the sewers of Wales. Oh, cool. Correct. Oh, nice! Well done, H-Dog. How do you know that they live in the sewers of Wales? Are you... I hope you're looking this up, because that's even funnier, but... Can we start using Zonkey? Yes. But you have to sound like... Sorry, I'm used to Gordon Ramsay's voice calling somebody a donkey is in my head, but now it's Gordon Ramsay calling somebody a zonkey, so that's where it's going. Which mammal is the thickest concentration of fur in nature? Was it a <laughs> Of course it was, H Doc. It was right regardless, I'll take it. Uh Canadian beaver. This is the thickest. Fur. My cultural knowledge is like the otter, the platypus, the platypus. Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. You think otters? Otters. Okay. I otter choose this one then. But um, bum. Hey! <laughs> You don't like the joke? You don't you don't like it? You don't like. Why you don't like the joke? Why you don't like my joke, sir? I make good joke. I make very excellent joke. Like very good joke. I don't know where this is going at all. I'm so sorry. Alright, I'm just gonna come around and collect your scorecards. We'll see who came up on top. It's definitely not Quizmaster Quinn. Remember the winning team gets a $25 gift card to Phil's Auto Care. If you need a car, heart, Phil's will will fulfill all your needs. No. Phil? Phil. God, I want that gift card. <sighs> Quiz ma- I ought to leave it. <laughs> You're welcome. Quizmaster goes directly- goes back to tally up the score. I pick up what's left of our cheese plate. There's a bit of brie that here that tastes absolutely divine on a cracker with a little bit of honey and dried apricot. Oh my god. Ah. What are your plans after a big one? Hmm, I'll probably retire. Take Amanda somewhere tropical. Drink something out of a coconut. Always wanted to do that. How about you? Probably take my winnings to Colin's gambling ring. Bet it all on black. Walk out of there with more rubber bands in the shape of animals than I know what to do with. <laughs> Bold, but I like your style. Oh. Want the last piece of Havarti? No, that's all you. You've definitely earned it. After a couple minutes, the quiz master jogs back into the room. Everybody immediately quiets down, waiting with bated breath for results. Who will win the coveted, gi coveted gift card? I really hope it's us. Hey, everybody, we've had a great night, a lot of goofs, a lot of laughs, a lot of bit of, like, crying in the back, but that's neither here nor there. It was a close game, but the winner of tonight's trivia contest is, drumroll, please! Easy, breezy, beautiful! Heck yeah, and we get eggplants, because we won! <laughs> Come down and get your gift card for Phil's Auto Care, where Phil nominal service is no. God, I can't do this anymore. Please just take the gift card. <laughs> He's not okay. 
I motion for Hugo to go get the gift card. He shyly slinks out of the booth to grab it. He pauses for a moment, gives Quizmaster a hug with a, with a few pats on the back. <laughs> the Quizmaster sobs just a little. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> Thank you, H Dog. I have been, I am thirsty, apparently. <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> Hugo makes a victory lap back to her table and gives me a high five. Easy breezy beautiful is unstoppable. Easy breezy beautiful is great. May easy breezy beautiful rain for a thousand years. Hugo, calm down. Normally this is me um, getting excited, but hey, <laughs> great work, guys. You guys are awesome. Will we, will we be seeing easy breezy beautiful again next week? I look over at Hugo who smiles. Maybe, maybe. Not as thirsty as Quizmaster Quinn is for someone to pet his hair and tell him it's gonna be okay. You're not wrong. Quizmaster Quinn is especially is exceptionally uh, thirsty for any amount of. Uh... <sighs> He's just touch starved, man. I don't know. Anything. <laughs> you make a pretty good team, huh, oh. Hugo? How you go blushes. You beautiful boy. Hugo and I walk back to our cul-de-sac, basking in the glow of our wind and nursing our cheese-filled bellies. I still really want cheese. Man, we crushed it ah. in there. Finally, enduring the screams of young children for years on end has paid off. I will take my half of this gift card and use it to purchase many, many air fresheners for my car, which Ernest refuses to stop vaping in. I think I'll buy my half to buy at least two tire pressure gauges to place in different parts of my garage. You never know when you're going to need one. I prefer to have them within arm's reach. A fine plan. Shame I have that one wrestling question, oh. though. I'm not kidding. I plan to write a strongly worded letter to whoever employed that man. Come on. There's got to be a story there. What do you mean? You didn't even stop to think. You pulled out that wrestling knowledge like you were there at the ring yourself. Oh, it's just stuff I know. Sir. Hugo. I figured you'd be better at lying after dealing with every kid in school for as long as you have. I, it's embarrassing. You know, it's actually embarrassing not being able to explain the basic algebra to your daughter. You know, it's definitely not embarrassing knowing stuff about wrestling. Hugo um. sighs. Yes. All right, all right. If you really want to know, it's follow me. Where are you taking me, sir? <gasps> His home. Hugo leads me to his house at the edge of the cul-de-sac. We step inside, and his house is exactly what I expected it to be. Neat and filled top to bottom with books and art. Ah. Uh, welcome to my home. Sorry, it's so messy. His house is actually spotless, but I digress. I follow him down the hallway. What are we doing? We are going to his shrine. I am sure there is a shrine dedicated to wrestling. Called it! Hugo flips the switch, and I finally understand. Curio cabinets packed with inbox wrestling action figures line the walls, along with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable. A giant widescreen TV sits on a decked out media stand. I am speechless. I look over at Hugo, who's hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid all eye contact. Hey. It's, um, this is really embarrassing. It's pretty damn cool, because it's actually pretty impressive. <laughs> yes, this is why big muscles are his turn-on. We have learned. Are you kidding? Look at this stuff. This must have taken you forever to collect. Can I touch this? Is it squishy? Sorry, I just imagine those, like, wrestling figurines with, like, the bulgy missiles, and you squeeze them, and they're like... Eep! Anyway, I don't... I don't know if that actually makes sense to anybody, but you know. Or you don't know, and I just look weird. Or both. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulder. Do you smell what I am cooking? Oh. I think the line is, it's meatballs. Sorry, I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's so cool how passionate you are about this. Hey. Oh, uh, yeah, I am. I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. He's so cute. You're such a cutie. Here we go. You brought, brought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. Did, he calls you by his first name? He doesn't call you dad or something? Sorry, that feels weird to me. That feels weird. Looks like Ernest just got home. He's yelling in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. Oh. 
I told you those pizza rolls have less sodium. I just want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes into Hugo's wrestling room and looks around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. Huh. I thought nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. I just said that you're not allowed to take the action figures out of their boxes and pose them so we're having sex with each other. But that's the half the fun. Ernest gets flustered. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna go throw eggs at stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Ernest leaves in a moment later, pops his head back into the room. And your stupid friend. We're not that stupid, we just won trivia! Hmm. Uh. Sorry about that. Him. And I'm sorry that I have to keep apologizing about him. He's just going through a phase, I guess. Mm. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has a thing against authority figures, and if you get don't get much more authoritative than a teacher dad. My ex... He... Oh, I didn't... Sorry, half these other... Well, all of these other guys so far have had, like, a wife or who is either still around or died. Um, or divorced. But this one is the... I love this for you. I love this for you. This makes me very happy. My ex, he gets to be the fun weekend dad, and I'm just Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. Hey, you love him, and you're looking out for his best interests. Take it from one dad to another. Someday he'll come to appreciate you. Maybe not someday soon, but someday. Oh. I hope so. Thank you for letting me vent. Looks at his mm. watch. Says it's getting kind of late. Let's do trivia again sometime soon. I would absolutely love to start to leave and hey thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff maybe you can tell me some more about it next time mm. honestly it's always so cute when somebody starts talking about like what they're like super into because they get so passionate and you're just like i don't know what you're talking about but this is adorable and i love this and i love this about you i don't understand any of it but it's okay help me understand but yeah, those are always my favorite things. It only takes a minute to walk back home. Man is sitting on the couch reading a book about female photographers. That's really cool. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. I don't. This book is all pictures. Uh, and even, the, even then, my patience is being tried. Aww. Did you get to eat all the cheese your little heart desired? I'm a happy little cheese monster. Uh, should have been Munster. Come on. Missed opportunity on a pun there, sir. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Who wants breakfast for dinner? <laughs> Hash browns! <laughs> Toast dipped in egg! <laughs> blueberry pancakes! Well, only if you help me make them. You know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler. And also totally amazing at heating up the maple syrup in the microwave. Now tell me all about that cheese board. Amanda and I spend the evening cooking an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave out the parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figured she would probably find some nefarious way to use that information for a better grade. Smart plan, smart dad. Date complete! I am so happy that Havarti and Cheese are separately two different categories in this one. Looks like yeah. Paradise Lost just got found. The comments on this are hilarious sometimes. I don't know what to think of them, but they're pretty great. Okay. Welcome. You've got dabs. Dabs. Okay, I'm gonna do one more. We're gonna end this off tonight with uh, Vamp Daddy, which is date number three. Uh, we'll start to see what happens when we hit that date number three. Um, I don't know. I don't know if like the game ends or something like that. I don't know if there's like that's when they're like you have a choice to make. So I'm actually just gonna save quickly just in case. Uh, but yeah. Although I think there's an entire backlog of these things. Um, but yeah. And tonight off with Vamp Daddy to hopefully make Catsy's night better. Cause I know you're hoping for a little bit of him. I love him. Like look at he just said like look at his eyes too. Jesus. Anyways, sorry. I'm good. <gasps> yep. This is okay, so I'm totally okay, cool. So I'm glad I just saved. So, so I guess this is like you hit the third date and then you start to see kind of where these things go, I guess. You might not have any time to browse dad book for a while. Are you ready? 
So we'll do this and maybe when I get back to streaming next week, we'll see how it ends with some of the other people. Cause we're basically at like third date mode for a bunch of them. Um, <coughs> except Ryan. Um, and so we'll start to see, I guess, where most of the others play out at the end. Cause I'm kind of curious as to some of their storylines and where, where they go, where they finish out and all that. So I don't know what you're talking about, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the extended cut is the only cut worth watching. Interesting. All right. Ever since we had that picnic in the graveyard, I haven't been able to stop thinking about him. Damien and I have been spending a lot of time together. We go on nighttime. Str oh, it's so cute. I love him. He was so impressed with the first letter I wrote him that he insisted that we only communicate by post <laughs> instead of through dad book. Initially, I protested, but he gave me one of his old signet rings. I'm sorry, did he? He gave me a ring? He gave me a signet ring to use as a seal for my letters? <laughs> this is adorable. Hang out with God Dad, Goth Dad again? Hit yeah, yeah. Please, man, you know his name. Vamp Daddy! <laughs> you know his true name. <laughs> Daddy? Sorry. Daddy? Uh, be honest with me here, Pops. Is he actually a vampire? I remember you inviting him to our household that one time, and I've seen the Lost Boys, and I honestly would have preferred trying to see if, I could, if he could have walked through the threshold of our home under his own power. Yes, Amanda. I have become Damien's familiar. I'm compelled under his curse. I'm sorry, sweetie. Turn into a bat. I don't Aww. think... What's the point of being a vampire if you can't turn into a bat? Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Are you taking the car? You flying off into the night on your leathery wings of a bat. One of those. Well, I'm out. Can you throw away the garlic bread that's in the freezer so I don't die? That would be great. Don't you dare throw away garlic bread. Rude. Keeping it there is insurance, you understand, right? That's my girl. I love him. <laughs> Damien and I walk along the water's edge chatting. Damien's cape, I mean cloak. He hates when people call it a cape. Damien's cloak flutters behind him in the breeze. This is going to seem like a silly question, but why do goths wear black? Gothic subculture has always been associated with death, so it would make sense that the style surrounding it would be greatly influenced by mourning. Interesting enough, though, that it was that in the Victorian area, Queen Victoria herself mourned the death of her late husband for ten whole years, wearing black for the rest of her life. That's not goth. I don't know what is. I have another question. How are you so comfortable with death? You mentioned in the graveyard that it helps you appreciate your life or something. Huh. I've experienced several losses over the course of my life, and I truly believe the only manageable way to cope with that is to accept that death is simply a part of living. Uh. It's the single universal truth for every human who's ever lived. I am going to die, you are going to die, and life carries on without us. Doesn't that make you feel scared? Not at all. Without the advances of modern science, death was everywhere in the Victorian area, era, and yet funerals were major social functions. Victorians were obsessed with mementos of their loved ones, even going so far as to take elaborately staged photographs of their dead relatives. Awkward. Huh. The minutia of mourning was so complex that there were set periods of grieving that were deemed acceptable based on who in your life had passed. Now, we don't have any of that. If you lose someone, you end up feeling lost yourself because we have no modern equivalent for those formalities. We need to allow ourselves time to grieve, to feel that loss fully, but not allow it to consume us. So, no, I'm not afraid of death. I believe it is a waste to spend your life dreading the end of it. Mm. The time we have here is brief and fleeting and occasionally cruel, but it is at all times precious. To stare death in the face and live despite that, I think, is a noble existence. Let's save the mourning for the dead. Wow. That's beautiful. That is, actually. I can see the moonlight and big glint off Damien's eyes. He smiles. We turn to the harbor and watch ships pass, breathing in the salty sea air. He <laughs> becoming a romance novel real fast real smut i looked at damien again and can't help but be entranced by his charm his mystery i find everything about him so fascinating i lean in closer to damien closing my eyes as i do so i'm 
So sorry, I have to take this. Bye, baby. After speaking in hushed tones for a few moments, Damien returns to me. Everything okay? What? There's an emergency. Lucian? No, thankfully, but I must take my leave. Oh. Okay, is there anything I can do to help? Huh. Dads do have to stick together, right? You know it. Then come. There isn't time to waste. All right. We arrive at a rundown building on the outskirts of town. Where are we? It's better if I just show you. I push the surprisingly heavy door open and find myself in a dimly lit waiting room. A few rickety chairs lie in the walls, that, and there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the front desk. There are a few paintings and pictures on the wall, but they're so nondescript. I'm still unsure what kind of place this is. Where did we take me? Damien walks off down a corridor, his boot heels echoing through the halls of the seemingly empty building. Distant howls echo from some place I can't see. There's a faint scratching sound like claws on tile. This looks... That? Animal hospital? Well, I, I say because those look like cat carriers. <laughs> I cautiously peek down the hall and find stall after stall of scared looking dogs. Rescue? Are we volunteer? <sighs> he does have a thing for dogs. He keeps treats there with them all the time. Does he work here? Maybe he works here. What have I gotten myself into? Suddenly the lights shut off. I panic. Unsure of where I am or how to get out. I stumble through the darkness, my, heavy, my breathing getting heavier and heavier. Da Damien? Lights finally turn back on. You are not who I was expecting to find here. Hey, sailor. Mary, what are you doing here? You aren't here for the fight club? What do you... I don't want to get punched in the uh. face. Great, because this place is an animal shelter. Good. Mm. We take care of stray animals and then people adopt the stray animals. Didn't you see the pets when you walked in? Oh, I just... Sorry, I didn't really expect to see you volunteering in an animal shelter. Neither did I. Uh. Wow. Okay, kid, way to put me in a box. Dames, you hear this baloney? Just one moment. I... I'm sorry, what? Is it... Is it weird that I also love it? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel. I love it and I'm also scared and shocked by it. Damien! I wouldn't have rec... I know, I love both. I don't know if I would have recognized... I love the ponytail. Is that weird? I just think it's so cute. I love it. He's so cute. Oh. I was not expecting this. Um, hey. It's Damien. He looks completely different. No cloak, no Victorian era clothing, no makeup. I Yeah, the glasses. The glasses also do it for me. Yeah, Damien's hair is always perfection. I love I wasn't planning to share the side of me until much later, but I'm not as goth as you think. I, uh, I'm a systems administrator for the IT department of a realty company. I wear tennis shoes to work and I listen to Bruce Springsteen. I enjoy going to the hardware store and looking at storage solutions. <laughs> and I volunteer at the animal shelter in my spare time. I could not be more in love with him. I'm bored. No, you're not. I'm fascinated with Victorian history and goth lifestyle, and that much is true. It's just not all that I am. And I need you to know that. Oh, I, uh, mm. hate to kill the moment here, but there's some pressing business that needs attending <sighs> to. Oh, right. It's Duchess Cordelia. Again, who's Duchess Cordelia? She's one of the pups, gets out all the time. Somehow, she learned how to open the doors, and now she's unstoppable. <sighs> Not wrong, H Dog. When did she get out? This morning. I went to go see sing she see. Sh <sighs> Ooh, that is surprisingly more difficult. I went to go sing sea shanties to the cats. 
And when I came back, she had already bolted. I'm sorry, you go and sing sea shanties to the cats. Mary, divorce your husband and leave him for me. I have to stay here with the pets, so I need you two to go find her. Of course, where could she be? She always ends up running off the same places. Here, let me draw you a map. She's very smart, ruthless even. You need to stay on your toes and get her back by sundown or else she'll turn into a werewolf and start eating people. Pardon? You're a perfect little peach, Parker. You just don't want her to be stuck outside when it's cold. Oh, jo Joseph probably taught her the sea shanties. Like, let's be real here. But I'm okay with that. I'll grab some treats when we can hit the road. But this is why he always has dog treats in his pocket. Hmm. Techner Damien is really cute. I'm not over this. Oh man, I'm the I'm Nerd's house? Oh my god! <laughs> this is so good. Guys, okay. Mary's sick pad. Nerd's house. Coffee dad. Chaos. So obviously Matt. Craig. Mario Batali! Does she- she must mean Robert. Other nerds house, probably, uh, Hugo's. Smalls, Dames. I don't know which ones those are. Um, cause we- oh, Dames is Damien. Which means Smalls is Brian. Yeah, cause that's his last name. I like how Dames has a heart next to it, cause clearly she likes him. Coffee Spoon, Softball Field, Aquarium, Shelter. That's where we're at right now. Bayside, the ocean or whatever. North, Southwest, he's shit. <laughs> I love this map. At least you're not other nerds house. Looks like you're moving it up in the pecking order. Congrats, kiddo. Where should we head first? Um, I don't even know. Let's go Bayside. I can't. I can't get over that beautiful tech daddy. Oh, anyways, we're good. Do you and I exit the parking lot? Yep, yep, yep. Shouldn't be too hard to find the Duchess, right? She's a pretty big pup. Mary wasn't kidding when she said the dog was smart. One time she correctly guessed the winner of the Kentucky Derby. It was a really great year for Bark, Bark, Bark. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think our odds are, Parker? Gotta stay positive. My dad once told me, Parker, you can't shove raisins up your nose. And that hurt my feelings. I felt discouraged. But I kept a positive attitude, and you know what? I made it happen. That is not a thing to brag about. Might have landed me in the ER and forced me to have 10 golden raisins removed from my nasal cavity, but on that day I learned that anything is possible if you have a good enough attitude and abnormally large nostrils. Young children are really resilient, I suppose. Yeah, young children. I was 16. <laughs> oh no. We got this. He's beautiful. I love him. Anyways. We arrive back at the bayside. Just like old times, eh? I remember it as if it were yesterday. I mean, earlier today. So, what do you think? Any side of the pooch? None yet, although who knows if she made it onto any of these ships. The Duchess would do that. I wouldn't put it past her to know how to navigate in rough seas without a compass. Very smart. Pops? Hello, Amanda. What are you doing? Did you think I just stayed inside all day, vegging out on the couch and watching TV? What are you doing? I'm heading home to veg and watch out, veg on the couch and watch TV. Well, you know what. Had to get a burrito first. <laughs> Young miss, have you seen a dog around here? Oh, you bet. I saw a Pomeranian with a bow around his neck. I saw an old Doberman named Henry. There's a stroller full of Yorkies. I want a stroller full, full of Yorkies. A Greyhound, a Golden Retriever. Did you see a Mastiff anywhere? Hmm, no dice. I definitely would have remembered that. I gotta run, though. This burrito is about 10 minutes before the cheese breaks down. The molecular structure of the tortilla makes it all soggy. You understand. Oh. I do? Of course. Have a lovely evening. Okay, um, let's go to the cul-de-sac. Brian. 
Pull into Brian's driveway and hop out. Don't step on the grass, I just mowed. Have you seen any unusual activity in the area today? <laughs> Besides from your underwater lawn? Rude. How dare you? I take my lawn care very seriously. Parker, please. You haven't seen a dog run through here, have you? Well, a little while ago I heard Maxwell barking at something. When I came outside, the garden had been torn to shreds. It's going to take forever to retill the soil. That could have been a dog or a very feisty raccoon. Whatever it was, it must have been hungry. I ate all of my tomatoes. I'm very sorry to hear about your garden. If you need any assistance restoring it to its former glory, please do not hesitate to contact me. Will do, buddy. Good luck finding that dog. Hmm, she's probably hungry. I wonder if she's looking for more food elsewhere. Which means coffee spoon. Matt! We park in front of Matt's coffee shop and walk inside. It seems like a slow day. Matt sits behind the counter reading a book. Hey, Matt. Hey, hey didn't expect to see you two today. What's up? You see any stray dogs around? Actually, yeah. I caught one digging through the trash earlier. It ran away when I tried to get close, though. Did you see what direction it ran in? Matt thinks for a second. Might have been running east, I think. The pup tore through three paint pans of right old, right side banana bread. Want to take some for the road, just in case? Sure thing. Yeah. Thanks for the slice. The road slice. I don't think he meant to give it to you for the dog. Right. I mean, it's gonna be so good for the dog to eat. Oh, it was for the dog, not for me. I feel like we're on the right track. You think? If we keep this up, we'll find the Duchess in no time. Hey, if you like dogs so much, why don't you have any? Lucian is severely allergic. I wouldn't put him through that. I don't think it should be for the dog. I think it should be for me. I want bread. There's still dogs in my life, so for that I am grateful. So have to be one more dog in your life, buddy. Splendid attitude. Let's not waste any more time. Verily. Okay, they said east. So... Oh, God, which means not the shelter, which means it makes me think that we then go to Bayside. But Amanda wouldn't have, oh, unless there's somebody else there now, because Amanda would have left. East from the coffee spoon. I suppose we need to go not so east? Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, God. What kind of dog is a vampire have? I would imagine it would be unwise for a vampire to take up the company of a smaller mammal by means of companionship. It would be too tempting to a bloodhound. I was going to say bloodhound, Damien. That did not work. Okay, let's go aquarium. Damien and I stopped by the aquarium. Everything looks in order here, but it might help to get out of the car and take a look. See anything? There's not even any sign of her. Did you know the penguins are considered the goths of the sea? Damien, I want to believe you so badly. Okay. Uh, softball field is the only other place I haven't checked. wonder if any of the kids saw something. Craig spots us and jogs over a baseball bat slung over his shoulder. Hey, bros! What's up? Craig, you wouldn't have happened to see a dog around here, have you? One escape from the animal shelter and we're trying to relocate her. Hmm, I don't think so. Maybe one of the girls nice. saw something. Girls? Hi, Amanda's dad. Hi, Lucian's dad. We have names. Girls, have you seen any dogs around? There was a big dog here earlier. She ran off a while ago, though. I don't think she had an owner, but it really wanted to play. We tried to play Fletch with her, but she just took the softball and ran. I think she ate it, actually. She was a lot of dog. Here, take another softball. Might come in handy later. Many thanks, Craig. Mm, it's fine. It's fine. Calm down. I hope we find her. Okay. Maybe by back east, it was back to the cul-de-sac. Uh-oh. Hugo's door is wide open! She can open doors. This is classic Duchess Cordelia. Telltale sign. We should approach with caution. Whatever goes down in there, I've got your back. Creep up to the porch and step inside. Blubber! We have banana bread and a ball for you. I have two items of bribery. There, sitting in the center of Hugo's living room like she owns the damn place, is one of the biggest dogs I've ever seen. Oof. Well, she hasn't broken anything in here yet. 
Wonderful. Now, all you have to do is get this leash on her before she tries to escape again, and we'll get out of here before Hugo comes home. Easy peasy. Duchess, come here. The Duchess eyes Damien wearily. As he approaches, she begins to growl. She's on her guard. We'll need another plan. I am going to give up the banana bread. I got eggplants. Okay. Reach into my pocket and pull out the slice of right side banana bread Matt gave me. The Duchess sniffs the air and hones in on the bread. Come here, girl. Nice. I know, I know. I'm sacrificing the bread. Sacrificing the bread in the name of love. Okay, guys? Nice and easy. I've got some yummy homemade vegan, possibly gluten free banana bread if that's what you're into. The Duchess cautiously approaches me and gives the bread a good sniff before gently taking it from my hand and dropping it on the ground like dogs do for some reason. She curls up and starts munching on the bread. Success! Damien walks up behind the Duchess and attaches her leash to the collar, the leash to her collar. She immediately notices and starts whining. It's time to go home now, Duchess. Damien gives a tug on the leash. She won't move. Duchess, what happened to our rapport? We used, you and I used to be bosom buddies. She still doesn't move. She's huge and there's no way we can even try to lift her. Well, it's a weird situation to be in. I think we're literally trespassing in our friend's house with this large dog. What are you nerds doing? Erna stands in the door with a plate of pizza rolls. What flavor of pizza rolls are they? Pepperoni blast. Nice. <laughs> yep. Had a feeling. Duchess notices Ernest and starts pulling against the leash. Why is the dog in my house? It's a long... Breaks free from Damien's grip and hurls towards... Shit. Ah! Ernest and the Duchess fall to the ground. Pizza rolls fly everywhere. This is bad. Ernest, are you okay? Ernest feeds the Duchess a pizza roll. Hey! She likes pizza rolls. No shit. Ernest sits up and the dog keeps licking his face. Oh, uh, hey. Hugo stands at the door like he's at a loss for words. Whoa. I am so sorry. Did you want a dog? Did you feel like adopting today? We're doing this new thing where we go door to door with dogs. It's called Dog Door. And you have the chance to adopt this lovely Mastiff that your child has also started to get along with. We think it'd be a great way for you to build responsibility into his daily routine. It's a long story. Woof. Boof. Boof. I love dogs. Dogs are great. Here you go, may I present to you Duchess Cordelia. Eh. How do you do? Boof. We're friends. <laughs> the Duchess licks at Ernest's face. She's from the local animal shelter. She got out and we've been chasing her all around town. Her house is her final stop. Dad, can we keep her? I don't know. Ernest, I don't know if we're set up to take care of. Uh... No. Wait, did you just call me dad? <laughs> Come on, please. Look how cute she is. Hmm. We had been talking about adopting a dog for a while, but you have to promise me you'll take care of her. Hugo, this is like the best thing for you because if you wanted to get Ernest to be more responsible and less of a little shit, this is going to be the way to do it. Yeah, I'll give her all the beats and rules her little heart desires. No, that gives her a heart failure. Do not do this. Suddenly remember what's on the back of this map and pull out a pen out of my pocket got the forms ready if you're interested oh. i'll leave them away the adoption fee since you know we're technically broken to your household hey. well all right it's a deal hugo we don't even need to take her home this is great hugo steps onto the porch with us and signs the formal earnest place with duchess inside he sure seems to be happy with his new friend oh. i know he called me dad can you believe it oh my god hugo poor boy that's all he wanted Damien places a hand on Hugo's oh. shoulder. I certainly can. I think this will be really good for Ernest. It should teach him some responsibility. You should probably look into getting better locks on your doors, though. <laughs> the Duchess is a wily one, but do right by her and she'll love you two forever. Thank you. It's a happy ending! And long story short, the Duchess now lives in a happy home and neither of us were charged for breaking and entering. So all in all, I think it was a fine day's work. Nice work, you two. Parker, you could be a valuable asset to our team of volunteers, you know, if you ever feel like petting some puppies. I always feel like petting some puppies. <laughs> I'm so glad I said the line as it was coming out that way, because uh, I'd... Mm. On point. Good to know. Well, I'll catch you fellas later. Mary starts to leave. Oh, and one last thing. 
Damien's been telling me about you. Glad he finally brought you around. Oh, oh yeah. Damien's... I'm sorry, Mary, what? <laughs> it's not the threatening, it is the Damien's my special boy. I, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know what to do with Mary. I love him. We go way back and I got a vested interest in his health, success, and well-being. So if you ever hurt him, oh. Mary, you can fill in the blanks. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Guess you not don't hate me as much because of your husband right now, ma'am. Glad to hear it, ma'am. So about the whole goth thing. I am um, completely understand if you aren't interested in me and Damien. Sir? What? Am I missing? I'm missing something, clearly. I'm not a cool goth prince. I'm boring. I own five pairs of tennis shoes. I wear double... You wear really cute glasses, sir. You are... I don't care. I do not care. And if you wear tennis shoes, that means that you are going on the walks and runs in the morning with me and Craig, and then we're gonna go for brunch. So nervous, baby! Damien, do you really think I only like you because of all the goth stuff? That stuff is all really cool and it's very romantic and it's beautiful, but I also love this part about you. All of that, that's all cool, but the best thing about you is how passionate you are about the things you love. History, art, Victorian fashion, dogs, storage solutions. I actually, also the storage solutions part is kind of hot because let's face it, like anybody who's pro at that is like, ugh genius in my books anyways it's wonderful do not knock storage solutions folks also the glasses are very cute thank you yeah nothing is better than organization 100 percent with you you don't think i'm boring no sir how dare you <laughs> eric terrible if you're boring, then I don't know what that makes me. I spent too much too much time online shopping for flashlights. I get excited to mow my lawn on Saturdays. I get cranky about commercials being too loud, also too long. I've always been thinking about making my own peanut butter. Huh. Then maybe we can be boring together. <laughs> I love this. Yes. It would never be boring if it was with you. I'm sorry, his hair smells like lavender and rosemary? Hmm. Ugh, love that. Sorry, I'm good. <laughs> oh, buries his face in my shoulder. I guess I'm taller. I was so scared he wouldn't like me. PB, no. Quite the opposite. I love you more. I've, like, consistently just, like, grown more and more attached to this boy. Damien pulls away for a second and looks in my eyes. Without the colored contacts, his eyes are so dark and soulful. I love the colored contacts, though. Do not get me wrong. His eyes now, like this, is perfectly fine, but also. <gasps> I get smoochies! <laughs> yes, yes, you may. You are so polite. Smoochies! Thou art welcome. Because I think it's key. <laughs> <laughs> love him verily you may take upon yourself the you know what just kiss me eggplants baby it, it works out perfectly eggplants are purple his shirt is purple my hair is purple my entire everything is a dad in this game is purple doing just fine it just all matches at this point we're color coordinated he leans in slight, smiles slightly leans in and gives me a gentle kiss smoochies he even pulls away and gives me an intense look. Do you want to help? help? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes! Oh God, I love, I love, I love this man. I don't normally say that about men anymore, but I love this one. 
The day that I arrived back at the cul-de-sac, our fingers intertwined. Like a proper gentleman, he walks me to my doorstep. <clears throat> it's normally a bad life choice, unless it's fictional, I guess. In my experience, anyways. There are plenty of delightful men, specifically the ones in the chat today. You are all lovely. You are all good. This was lovely. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for everything. I'm very happy I can be myself around you. I'm glad, but I have one request. What's that? Can we keep sending each other letters? <laughs> but of course. <laughs> I do find there's a bit of a sense of irony that he's like an IT tech solutions guy. So like, obviously all about technology. But instead, he loves sending like letters. Handwritten. It's adorable. Anyways. Damien kisses me one last time for turning around and heading home. Yeah, but he's my dork now. That's the best part. Amanda runs back to the couch from the window and tries to look as nonchalant as possible. Hello, father. I was sitting here on the couch this entire time. Hi, Amanda. Huh? So, are you guys, like, starting a vampire coven together? Oh, plot twist. Mothman. Damien's actually Mothman. I didn't see it coming either. Uh -huh. Secretly, the cryptids Robert's been hunting this whole time is really just his neighbor. Genius. Well, whatever's happening, I'm really glad you two are happy. You deserve it, Dad. Aw, shucks. I'm gonna head to bed. Catch in the morning? Sure thing. I make my way to my room and fall into my bed with a heart full excited for the days to come. Date complete. No joke, though, those colored contacts are pretty frickin' dope. Hell yeah, My it's- dear friend, you've simply taken the egg on this one. Um, t taken the egg is a, uh, Yep. It's a, it's a, it's a Victorian phrase. You're trying, sweetie. It technically means winning, so, um, you've, ultimately, you've, you've won. I know I have. I've won your heart. That's all I wanted. I love him. I know, now we have to fight off Stranger Danger. That's the problem. Oof. I think I have everything finally set up, and Amanda should be here any minute now. I think that's her car in the driveway. Okay, gotta act natural. Cool, Parker. Be cool. Amanda walks to the door with a suspicious look on her face. Hey, Dad? Mm -hmm. Something fishy? Hack. Sorry, sweetie, it's the feds. Life of crime is finally catching up to you. Try to send them in a different direction, but even I'm no match for the power and funding of the U.S. government. Aww. Well, if they think they're gonna take me alive, they've got another thing coming! I'm kidding, you're right. I have a little surprise Ugh. for you. I can tell you're very bad at lying. Amanda, my dear, would you care to join me in the kitchen? Father, it would fill my heart with glee. There's a present on the tablecloth. Okay, it's nothing special, but I wanted to get you a little something. You graduated high school last week, and I know you told me not to make a big deal about it, but I'm making a big deal out of it because I'm your father. Dramatically whip the cloth off, off the table and Amanda's jaw drops. Hey. No way. Figure you probably won't be able to get cable in your dorms, so I thought it might be nice to take a piece of home with you. A TVD box set of long haul paranormal ice road ghost trekkers. All 19 seasons. Jesus Christ. And bonus material, including commentary with actual ghosts featured on the show. Dad. I love this. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. Hey, you want to hang out with me in the backyard for a bit? Toss the old pigskin or something? Totally. Follow man to the back door. Uh. We've thrown her a surprise party. You told me not to make a big deal of it, but you seem to have forgotten my entire life mission is to make a big deal out of your accomplishments. <gasps> He's in work mode. He's tech daddy now. Anyways, we're good. We're fine. Consider this your graduation party. Surprise! Tad, everyone's here. Well, yeah, everyone wanted to come support you. Yeah. Is that a mac and cheese bar? <gasps> mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Fully customizable down to the type of mac. And there's an ice cream cake. The good kind with the crunchies in the middle. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Just go have fun with your friends, all right? So proud of you, Amanda. I should make the rounds, make sure everybody- The crunchies in the ice cream cake is like the, the pinnacle 
I've ice cream cakes anyways, I'm good. I'm fine. I just apparently have opinions on ice cream cake. Who knew? But first, mac and cheese. Oh, it's Pablo! Hey, buddy! How's the shirt business going? My butt, I got men's shirts, I got women's shirts, I got tank tops in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. Each of them fine quality screen printed with the logo and visage of world-renowned witch house outfit Bacon Vale. Purchasable, purchasable at most respectable retailers. More specifically, out of the trunk of my car. I'm also selling my mom's world-famous homemade butter, apple butter. Never stop hustling. Also, I want some of the apple butter. Maybe you got it. Amanda having a live, no, Mary having a lively conversation is interesting. We have a real fluffy Samoyed right now. His name's Harold, loves belly rubs, always tries to lick your face if it gets too close. Mr. Christensen, thank you so much for telling me in great deal about every single dog currently at the animal shelter. Please tell me about the Afghan with three legs again. Hey. Sure, Quadro we call him. It's one of those ironic nicknames. You know, if you're really interested, I could probably steal one for you. Mary! You're not supposed to steal dogs! Nah, but I could get you in to meet all of them. I could always use extra hands around the shelter. Ah. And if those extra hands also happen to steal a dog, I'm glad you two are able to bond over cute dogs really warms my heart. Dad, we're having a moment. Huh? Hey, Sailor. Your kid's a good egg. Where's your goth prince? You two are usually attached to the hip these days. I love him. Uh, he, he's around. Stellar. Mary turns her attention to Amanda. Hmm. It's not too hard to sneak out of into college. Trust me, I did it plenty back in the day. At one point, I had three cats living in my dorm. Not surprised, Mary. Not surprised. <gasps> Hello, Duchess. He's still so grumpy. Oh, but I'm so happy that she got to go home. <sighs> We're working on that. Got her in a disciplinary class. She's a wild spirit who runs where she may. I don't mind at all. <laughs> Looks like the three of you are getting along nicely. She's a valuable addition to the clan. If I hold up my homework in front of her, she'll, she'll eat it. Feel like that's not the lesson we wanted him to take out of this. I don't know. We'll deal with that later. Judges Cordelia spots a squirrel and darts across the yard. Ernest follows her, laughing. He's actually been a lot more manageable lately. I think taking care of the dog is good for him. Yeah, because he's now, like, expending all of his extra energy on the dog and not on getting into trouble. Thanks for breaking into my house, I guess. Anytime. Barker! Brian, you made it! I didn't actually invite you! Ha! <laughs> I don't pass up on a good Mac. What do you think of the party? Oh. It's not bad. Sir? <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Thank you for that compliment. Daisy, you are a lot more positive of an influence. Hi, Amanda's dad. Hey, Brian's daughter. See? See how that feels? This is a really great party. Thank you so much for inviting us. See, that's how you respond, Brian. Listen to your daughter. She knows better. You're very welcome, tiny child who knows how to pay a compliment. <laughs> Brian and I lock eyes. This isn't over. Hey, bro. Bro. It's a real rager taking our older generation into consideration. I'm trying to be in bed at a reasonable hour tonight. Don't let me get too wild. Bro. Don't worry, dude. I'll keep an eye on your fruit punch and take. You know, I'm really glad we're bros again. It's at the gym sometime soon, huh? Sure thing, dude. Hey, little ones. Hello. Hiya. Thank you for all that ice cream cake. Wait, girls, how much of that did you eat? Briar ate four pieces. Ask any witness. No, I didn't. Hazel ate four pieces and wants to pin it on me because we look alike. I have your face. Nobody will ever believe you. Oh, boy. I'll let you guys figure that out. Good seeing, Craig. Let's hang soon, yeah? Totally. Tell Amanda congrats for us. Looks like you settled into the neighborhood quite nicely. Yep. Couldn't ask for a better call to sack. Well, I'm glad. Hopefully we'll see you at more church events, not likely. Only if there's a margarita zone. We've got a big schedule planned for the rest of the year, and I'm sure the kids would love to see your dance moves again. No, they would not. Sure thing, Joseph. And maybe if you aren't doing anything later, we could hang out sometime. Sure, Joseph, that'd be great. Well, see you later. Oh. The perfect cheddar to Matt Gratio. Beautiful work. Thank you. I learned from the best. I've got a pocket full of gift cards that say you already knew a thing or two. Let's get together for trivia night sometime soon, okay? 
Joseph seems very disappointed. I think he wanted to run away with me. Like, leave his wife and the entire life behind, sail on a ship somewhere, and possibly find the true Margaritaville. That sounds like what he actually wants. It's a little weird. There's some subtext, obviously. You know, I'm really pleased to see Amanda going to her dream school. I'm glad she turned it around for the finals. Me too, that scholarship money will also really help. Amanda walks by and pretends to not see Hugo. Amanda, come say hi to your teacher. Uh. Hey, congratulations on graduating. I know you're gonna do great things at art school. Thanks for not failing me. We all know that's what she's actually saying. Wait, I just realized you're not my teacher anymore, so I don't have to be afraid of talking to you. You no longer hold power over me! You're right. Go forth, adults. I can no longer give you detention. Yeah, I'm gonna break everything I want. There's nothing you can do about it. Are you still mad about that time I gave you detention for breaking my globe? Oh. <laughs> nope. I'll have you know that globe didn't even fit through the basketball hoop in the first place, so... She'll fit into college just fine. Amanda, what have you been up to? Stranger danger! You should have, we should have gotten you to cater this meal. I mean, hi, Robert. Rest, I mean, Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. Hey. See you later. Matt! Let me know when Amanda leaves for college. I'll have a fresh batch of right side banana bread ready for her. Oh, you're an angel. Have you gotten that oregano smell out of the upholstery yet? Still working on it. Hey, Amanda's dad. I turned to spot Lucian. No. Oh. I, I, I guess you're mine now, kind of, too. I'm dating your father, after all. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what to do with you stepkids. Yes, Lucian? Thanks for inviting me to your party. Anytime. I know we had a rocky start, but I'm glad to know you. I hope you know how much your dad cares about you. Yeah, my dad's had a rough couple of years, and I know that it must not have been easy to raise me alone. He's kind of a weird guy, but I love him a lot, and he's, you seem, and it seems like you make him happy. So you're cool in my book. Thank you, Lucian. That means a lot to me. Sure. And let me know if you want me if you want me to give you a stick and poke sometime. Yes, let's go tattoos. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry about the oregano thing. The oregano thing never happened. Matt and I will swear on our lives about that. See you around. Oh, as the party starts to wind down, I take a seat on our back porch step. The sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill. Amanda wanders over and sits down next to me. Killer party pops. What can I say? I was inspired. So I, uh, I have something for you. Not to be completely genuine about my feelings for once or anything, but... Growing up wasn't easy, but it could have been a lot harder if it wasn't for you. Dad, you've been there for me through everything, and there's been times in my life where you were my only friend. Aww. I was really scared of going to college and being so far away from you, but I realized that everything you've done for me is, has been to prepare me for this, and I'm ready. I wouldn't be who I am today without you. Don't cry, don't cry, don't God, I swear to God if we cry again. You're the best, Dad. I love you. And now I'm crying. Anyway, that was enough emotional vulnerability for one day. <laughs> Present time! She sends me a tiny wrapped package and I tear it off because I am that person. Oh, it's a frame picture of us. It's mm -hmm. us. Kind of shocking of all our photo albums are just pictures of me, huh? Figured we needed at least one together before I leave. Amanda, thank you. Watching you grow up has been the happiest experience of my life. You're such a talented, intelligent young woman and I'm so excited to see what the future holds for you. Knock him dead, kid. <laughs> Huh. Always do. Amanda and I share a hug. This is only the beginning, Pops. Plenty more memories for us down the road. Memories to make and stuff to break, right? Aww. Oh, I'm gonna break so much stuff, intentionally and unintentionally. You're probably gonna have to pay for most of it. It would be my honor. Amanda hops up. Looks like someone's been waiting to talk to you. Is it my nerd boyfriend? I'm so excited. I'll leave you to it. Me and the Emma's are gonna go get ice cream. <gasps> the Emmas are here. Why are they here? Why would I have invited them? Sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, this is so pretty. Why does he have his name tag still on? We know your name, sweetie. Oh. Did you know that in the Victorian era, they would call benches seedy boys? Wait, what? Really? I'm kidding, Parker. But what if? It's good to see you in your civvies again. Thank you. I had a revelation the other day. And I think it was largely due to your continued influence upon me. 
There was a version of myself that might have been embarrassed to show you my true form, my information technology form. But what you said about me, about how my passion was, what you truly admired, that emboldened me to feel like myself regardless of how I choose to dress and act. Instead of separate entities, they are simply different facets of myself. A three-dimensional human with his own thoughts, wants, and needs. I love dressing the way I do, but feeling constricted by what I thought was my own personal brand made me lose sight of why I did this in the first place. To make myself happy. I love you. I'm trying to be more comfortable with who I am rather than dwelling on who I could be to other people. Love you. Damien, I'm so happy you realized that you can be a dog-loving goth. Me too. Me too. Can you scooch up close? Can you scooch up close? Hello? I'm not- Okay, I feel like this man has some of the best hair care routines on the planet. Like, the fact that it smells like lavender and rosemary. Mwah. I'm not surprised it is soft. I'm sure it is luxurious. And now there's petals falling. Well, no, they stopped. But, like, not surprised. He is going to have the best routine for his hair on earth. How is your hair so soft? Hey. I know, I also want to braid it. I keep running my hands through his hair as he leans closer to me, placing a hand on the side of my face. Mm, I love him. You know, public displays of affection were considered scandalous in the Victorian era. era. Smoochies! But I think I can make an exception for you. I love him. The beautiful boy. My beautiful, beautiful boy. Okay. Damon's voice, but... <laughs> Most likely to start Victorian era hair care line. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't blame him if he did, too, because I think he's really good at it. Uh, I, I, I completely would buy that. I would buy into it also. Okay, we're going to leave that there. Okay, I know we went a little bit late today, a little bit over, but on Monday we'll start exploring some of the other um, endings. And I, like, I'm sure part of the end we can skip. There's actually a way to skip in that top corner. Um, but we'll do at least probably one more episode of Dream Daddies and then we'll see about switching it up to something else. I've got a bunch of things uh, in mind, but I think that's where we're going to leave this for today. Okay? So thank you guys all so, so, so much. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me gush about Vampire Daddy. Um, rar, love you all. Have a fantastic night. Uh, is there anybody that we can raid? Nobody really that I... No? Okay, we're good. We're good. We'll leave it alone for right now. We'll focus on that next week. Alrighty. So have a fantastic night, and I will see you all on Monday. Bye!